Hi. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for being with us today for the show. It is Monday, November 26th. I'm Haley Harmon alongside Lee Cruz. Welcome back. Thank you. How was your holiday? Good, so good. I went down to Tennessee, spent lots of time with both sets of my grandparents. Oh, good. Um, a family. Um, it was great. I ate so much and it was so delicious. I probably ate an entire tray of deviled eggs. Those are my weakness. I like deviled eggs. They're yeah. so good. Dressed eggs, deviled eggs. Deviled eggs. Some is there a difference or is that just No, the... I don't think so, but some people refer to it as dressed eggs. Dressed eggs. Hmm. What about the dressing stuffing debate? Which side are you on? Uh, dressing, I dressing. think. Dressing. Yeah, Me not too. stuffing. No. Yeah. It was so good though. And yeah, it was just nice to have you know, a nice long weekend to just kind of relax and rest with the fam and eat as much as I wanted. And then little Ollie, my little corgi, got neutered yesterday. So that's how I ended the holiday weekend. I sent Leah a picture. Typical for her. Yeah. That's how I like Never to take it. a nap around Haley Harmon. Never. Cause I'm coming for him. Um, but yeah, a little all he got. I sent Leah a picture and that's what he texted me back. He said, remind me never to take a nap around you. So, I mean, you you didn't want Ollie to enjoy his life? I mean, what, what's the point here? Why, he why still we enjoys do his life. Well, he, he just can't, part of he just can't be chase tail like he normally would. Mm -hmm. But he's still got the urge. How do you know he's still got the urge? I don't know. I don't know. He's still healing up, but he's so cute. But as you know. He's, he's got no bullets in I the. Got, uh, yeah. 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 No bullet in the chamber. In the chamber, no. Um, but yeah, so my dad's a veterinarian, so my dad did the surgery, so I got to be in there for it. And it well, was how much that cost? Uh, to raise the price. I'm waiting on you? for him to send the bill. He's yeah. like, oh, Haley used only the finest oxygen for Ollie. Um, but yeah, so it was, yeah, it was a little That's weird. Awful. I felt like crying for some reason. <laughs> I did. I, I know felt I like, do. I was very That's emotional. Awful. I think it's because he's my little puppy, and I love him, and just seeing but, him all like. So you and believe then, this will uh, contain his behavior, so he's not gonna want to leave the yard so much and run around and chase uh, not so much my dad said it will change some dogs personalities but ollie he said will probably be the same it just uh prohibits impregnation which is you don't want a girl to come and knock and but what, you're well, the father he could he could get a job you know he could take care of these puppies as far as you know i mean you're not giving him enough credit one of my friends says ollie lives at the li or works at the library and people are like where's ollie he's like oh he's at where's the, the library? library he's working yeah. Anyway, so what about you? Did you have a good weekend? Oh, yeah. Did the whole thing, ate everything, gained five pounds, I believe. So good. So good. Yeah. What's your favorite menu item? Ah, uh, well, I do love the deep fried turkey. We had one of those. Did you see? We didn't. We had roast turkey, and it was still yeah. so delicious. Not as good. Yeah. Uh, but then we had, uh, you know, the mashed potatoes, dressing, casseroles, a lot of different kind of casseroles, that kind of thing. All the I'm casseroles. I'm not a dessert guy. I don't really eat dessert, but I ate plenty. Loved it. What do you mean you don't eat dessert? I don't really care for the dessert as much as you think. Not when I've got real sustenance in front of me. That's what I prefer. I eat all that and then I save this much room for a huge piece of pumpkin pie. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of pecan pie and some pumpkin I did. I take that back. I did have uh, some coconut cream pie. My mother made a coconut cream pie. Oh, yum. She came in just indignant that I like coconut cream because she said all these years I've been making chocolate and you didn't tell me that. Well, I didn't know it was a thing. Jeez, Wait, calm they, down. She, she was making chocolate for you thinking you loved it and, and you I don't? And I do love chocolate. No, I do love oh. it. But I also love coconut cream pie, but she, that upset her for some reason. I don't know. Hmm. So she made both. Hmm. Well, good. Miss Wydeen, God spoiled. bless you for raising this young man. Yeah. Okay, you ready to do some... Well, in a second. Today, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Today is Cyber Mondays if you don't have enough shopping done already. Did you do any shopping this weekend? Black no. Friday or any no, of that? No, I wait till it's uh, Christmas Eve and I go to a gas station. Oh, wow. Love those sunglasses you got me last year. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so according to the National Retail Federation, 75 million people are expected to take advantage of the internet bargain. So Cyber Monday is like Black Friday, huge discounts, yeah, but it's all on But we don't need Cyber Monday anymore. There used to be a time 20 years ago yep. when Cyber Monday was a thing. Oh, so I'm de we're designating this day to go buy things online. Yeah. Oh, okay. And we'll take care of those little pop-up things that are on the internet. Mm -hmm. Well, now they've taken over the world mm -hmm. and now we got to support local business because you don't need Cyber Monday. Every day's a Cyber Monday now. Yeah, that's true. So much online shopping. And even if you just hone in on, let's say this weekend, like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, a lot of companies... Small Business Saturday. 
Small Business Saturday. A lot of companies now are kind of doing Cyber Monday on Black Friday as well. You can get the yeah, same deals right. on their website True. at most places too. I was at the mall Friday there for the Salvation Army as we're doing our angel oh, the angel tree. Yeah. It was nuts. Was it really? You couldn't park anywhere. It was just crazy. Thank goodness for the free valet. Don't forget they do that. That's at the best way to do Use it. it. Yeah, but it was uh, it was jam packed. Yeah, my mom and Which I. Which is good to see. I'm glad. It is good to see because you're supporting that and getting lots of gifts. Today we nice. were at a small business over in Winchester, we Graham's were. Boot Store. We were there. It's Those an upcoming were so piece. Nice. Yes, they were so nice. And they have so much. I mean, everything. Good they had so many great gift ideas. Yeah. You forgot to buy those jaunty holiday boxers you were going to. Take a look at the cinch boxers <laughs> if you go into the store. They were boxer store. briefs, by the way. Boxer briefs. But they have a photo of a dog uh, holding two tennis balls in his mouth. And the, and the right. pic picture's yeah. right there on the, on the front. Yeah. Okay, money now are you ready to do the hot topics? Let's do it. Now. Topics. It's a southern thing. You can find them on Facebook. They posted a hilarious video all about glitter, which I've seen this. I think we can all agree on their message. Here's part of that clip, by the way. They seem harmless at first, riding into our lives through costumes, decorations, or greeting cards. But those are never good enough for the shimmering parasites. They want us. They want our skin. And once they get a hold of it, they never let go. So this Christmas, or Valentine's, or Easter, or whatever holiday you feel the need to make shiny, if you really love someone, you'll give them the greatest gift of all, which is literally anything without glitter. It doesn't matter. It's so true. Though. It's so true. Glitter spreads. I love it though. I oftentimes will see glitter on myself glitter. and I don't know where it came from. I, every time I get in, people accuse you of going to a strip club. And you usually are like, yes, I did, but the glitter didn't come from there. Hmm. Right? I, I, it's unnecessary. Please stop yes. with that. Another video to show you that's gone viral today showing a young baseball player leaping over home plate. Take a look at this video here. Um, he jumps over. Wow! To avoid being Superman! Tagged. I love that. Love this. I've watched it on repeat online. Here we go. We'll see it again in just a second. Here we go. Still hey! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this video is from the Dominican Republic. It yeah. has 7 million views. Uh, people on ESPN's social media page say the player looks like a gazelle, a <laughs> spider the... ninja monkey, and Clark Kent if he were in Little League. That's the best one I've seen of this. That guy really hey! sold out there. And if he touched the, if his knee touched the plate, he's safe. I don't know if he got back before yeah, being see. tagged, but uh, that is so there cute. There he comes, stealing Got home. you, bro. Hey, he's clear Watch. there. Oh, I don't think he touched. No, oh, he, I bet he's he did. reaching for there it. There he goes. He's there he safe. Goes. Okay, That's good job. Awesome. Well, Kevin Hart and his wife Aniko are getting grilled on social media over their son's birthday party theme, Cowboys and Indians. Aniko posted pictures to her Instagram page. People consider the party theme to be insensitive. Said culture isn't a costume. Oh my God. Others came to the parents' aid saying, it's a kid's party, not a declaration of the plight of Native Americans. Another user called it a great idea, had the same theme for their kids. Jeez, oh, Pete. Come Who on. are these people? Come on, relax. Who are these people that get so irate? So what are we supposed to, if we can't dress can't up as anything, anything? You can't, you can't do anything, apparently. Of course, if you're dressing up to, you know, take a dig at a culture. Yeah, don't do it. That's horrible. But this, they're celebrating it. It's, it's a it fun an culture. Old, an what are we supposed to dress as? I'm, a, I'm dressing as a Midwesterner. Yeah. Our next birthday party is Americans. Just yeah. oh, run no, of the mill. You, you, soon you won't be able to do that because we know how evil Americans are. So don't be doing that. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> this is you, isn't it? Sure. This is Roseanne Barr. Actress Roseanne Barr took to social media to squash circulating rumors about her health over the weekend. Several news outlets are reporting that she was rushed to the hospital after a heart attack. Someone claiming to be Barr's assistant called into Sputnik News Radio. Sputnik News? Yeah, it's big time. <laughs> beep, 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 yep. beep, beep, beep. Barr tweeted a picture of herself, and by the way, it was not a good photo, I saw it, saying, I'm fine. Yeah, that wasn't her, it was Mike Didka. Oh my God. Yeah. He did have a heart attack over the weekend. Oh my God. Yeah, that's what I'm I saying. I thought you were saying the photo was, looked like Mike <laughs> no, Ditka. I'm saying maybe that's how oh. they got mixed up. Oh, I don't know. I was Mike like... Ditka was on the golf course and had his like third heart attack, or maybe second, and he also had a stroke before. But he's, he's, he seems to be resting. He's, uh, go Bears. Go Bears. 
the He's bears. Fine. Here's an ATM fail. A thief shatters an ATM in Russia in broad daylight, walks away with the tray of counterfeit bills. Oh. Surveillance video shows the man tearing open the automatic teller machine. He was later arrested. Why is there fake? Why is there fake yeah. money in there? Is Why that, would there be fake money? Is that a statement just on Russian currency or is there? It's all <laughs> counterfeit. I don't. Do they plan on people breaking in? Um, so they put fake money I, in there? Yes, and it's people are so right. stupid. I'm not going to lock this one just so he can get in there. And I don't understand that. Yeah. Weird. Okay. All right. Broad daylight. Look at that. Brazen. A camel in Pennsylvania has become a viral sensation. His name is Einstein. Mm -hmm. He was spotted last week on Route 309 just south of Bethlehem. No. Peaceable Kingdom Petting Zoo was taking Einstein to Philadelphia and got stuck. They let him out to make their trailer lighter. Well, those passing by spotted Einstein, started taking pictures, videos, posting them online. You know the drill. Einstein made his public appearance over the weekend. They're ornery animals. They and I'm ornery. sure there's going to be camel lovers out there that's going to call me and, and or email me and tell me. Do it. He loves to hear from you. But uh, that's all they do. Just sit around and chew gum. They do. They mm. never stop chewing. We saw one just last week at Lawrenceburg at their Light Up Lawrenceburg event. They had a yeah. camel out there for their live nativity scene. I always feel like it's a victory if they don't spit on you. That's true. I'm always afraid to get close to them. Yeah. Those llamas, uh, alpacas, no haka loogie. Oh, not good. And that always, I'm always prepared for that. I always no. think that's going to happen. <laughs> Those are today's hot topics. All right. Stay with us. Coming up, we're headed to Bourbon County. Are you a horseman or are you not? Doesn't matter. Either way, Paris's Quillen Leather and Tack is the place for you to shop local this Christmas. We take a look at what they have to offer and try our hand at leatherwear coming up next.